What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another exhilarating episode. Today, we're going on a super big, fat, juicy, super big, fat, juicy adventure. We're getting the Jeep's emissions tested. <laughs> I know, it's exciting. I'm excited, too. And I'm going to tell you something really quickly because... This is something that was strongly advised to me, both by family members as well as the flyer that they sent me. They recommend, first gear, they recommend you don't, D-O-N apostrophe T, that you don't wait till the end of the month. And you don't wait until a Saturday. It's the busiest, like the double busiest time to get emissions tested. It's at the end of the month and on Saturday. And guess, and guess what? It's the end of the month and today's Saturday. <laughs> Didn't do this on purpose. It was a total mistake. I biffed it up. You know, I figured, eh, it's fine. I got time. It's fine. I got, eh, it's fine. You're fine. It's fine. That's what I figured. That's what I was saying. I was like, eh, emissions. Nope. Oh dang it. That's literally how I said it. I was like, oh dang. I gotta get my shit tested. Not my, like, shit, not my poo. N not that. The Jeep. So, here we are, here we are. I woke up this morning, I was like, oh fudge. Test it. Gotta test it. So I'm dropping the doggo off. Not the retro bros, but the dog dropping the dog off and then we're going on an adventure I can tell you I'm excited let me drop him off I'll see you in a second all right dog's dropped off let's go it says test your vehicle as soon as possible <laughs> Avoid testing at the end of the month and on Saturdays since these are the busiest testing times. Note, this vehicle must pass emissions before the registration can be renewed. Well... Okay, so I've entered the address, dropped the dog off, and we're on our way. And it says I'll be there in 30 minutes, which is really annoying. I've jumped on the highway. Let's get ready to test the missions! Realizing full well that this isn't necessarily the most exciting topic for a video, I wanted to document the process for any of you that have either never done it, uh, maybe it's different in the state that you live in, if you live in the United States, or if you live outside of the United States and you have no idea what this is like, I wanted to make a video to not only have some fun, but to show you what the experience is here. All right, so it's the last turn. We're turning in in a little bit. Hopefully it's not busy. I'm really hoping it's not crazy busy. I just saw somebody, I think, pull in there. Oh my God. <laughs> no, no. I don't know if this person's going, but I'm turning in. Oh my God, this is horrible. <laughs> What an idiot! I'm so stupid. Look at this. I'm gonna show you this. Look at this. Look at this line. <laughs> it goes all the way around. This is the line, and it goes all the way. I mean, th there's parked cars here, but it goes all the way into the building right there. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully it moves quick. Let's just test it. It's 11:50 a.m. right now. And we just parked, and we just pulled in. I'll tell you what time it is when we leave, because I will be doing some chopping up of the video. I will be editing. So I'll tell you what it's like in real time here. 11.50. Cars are moving. This is a good thing. This is a plus. It might not. There's, there's already three cars behind me. You can see the cars behind me. <laughs> no. This is so stupid. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, what's funny is that they, they test your emissions, but then so many cars sit here in line with their engines running 
just spewing out emissions. <laughs> well, we're moving. I mean, that's a plus. There's there's three lanes. There's three lanes also. So this is a strategy. This is it's not necessarily guaranteed unless you're good at, at, at kind of estimating a, the year of a car, which doesn't guarantee anything. But if you're looking at a line, like I see there's a couple Honda Civics that are not necessarily that old, but kind of old. Uh, but Hondas are pretty decent vehicles. But there's a, a Honda minivan that the bumper's all jacked up. Kind of old, some newer vehicles. You want to find a lane that has newer vehicles in it because hopefully those pass quicker. Or a lane that has cars that look like they've been maintained fairly well. Of course you want to find the shortest lane, but if that's not possible, if they're all equal lengths, which this middle lane is actually the shortest, I'm just going to go in this one, and there's a Lexus, a Mercedes, and a fairly old Acura in front of me, but whatever. We're in lane two, team two, we're in the lane, let's continue. I'm hoping it's just the form that they mailed out to me. I mean, I have my vehicle registration, I have my driver's license, um, I have my insurance card, so I think I'm, I'm probably pretty good. All right, we're moving again, and lane two seems to be a little faster. So there's a couple variables that it could possibly be. It could be the vehicles themselves, or it could be the employee that's doing the testing. You never know. It's like going to the DMV. You could have somebody that's in a grumpy mood, which most of the people it seems like are, and I can understand why they deal with a bunch of ding-dongs all day. But it seems like lane three is picking up. Oh no, lane three is picking up. You see them moving, they're moving. Oh no, lane one's picking up. Oh God, I, mean, I must have spoke too soon. Whatever, we're all doing pretty decent. We're all moving, that's good. But you never know, is it the employee? Is it the cars that are being tested themselves? Is the process faster since I remember? I'm not sure. You tell me. What's your process like? Tell us all tell us all in the comments below. Please. Moving again. We're moving. We're moving pretty good too. Heck yeah. Dang. All right, looks like we're gonna start moving again almost. So they, they take two cars at a time in the bay. And I don't know if I can show you, if I can record it, but I'm gonna try. They take two cars in the bay at a time. And the first car left. The second car is, is farther back and they're still sitting there. Both sides are moving again, left and right. Lane one and three are moving. A little update. Well, this lane's not moving. There we go. The guy wasn't paying attention. There's a Nissan in there, Nissan Altima that's in there right now. I don't know what year it is, but it's a little older. Hopefully it passes, or if it doesn't, they just, they boot them from the line quickly and say, you suck, get out of here. Fix your shit. All right, here we go, they're moving. They're pulling up, we're going in.
Okay, so we have to go in this like a booth thingy, and then they they do the the test. You too. Oh my god, that was so easy. I'm gonna get my stickers renewed right now. To be honest, while I'm here, go ahead, lady. <sighs> Figured, you know what, while I'm here, might as well get my stickers renewed. Because there's no point in waiting. That was so easy. Didn't take long at all. The only weird thing was I don't remember having to stand in some stupid booth, but not the end of the world. That's crazy. I'm gonna go inside and get my stickers renewed. I'll see you guys when I get out. Okay, so I'm just leaving the office. It's 12.19, right? I was here at 11.50, that's 29 minutes. But I'll tell you what, most of that wait time, a little over half, was waiting in line to get my registration renewed. And the line wasn't necessarily that long, it was just winding in a very small room, and whatever, it is what it is. But if I didn't do that part, it would have taken me about 15 minutes to get my missions tested, including waiting in line, which is, actually very quick so i don't know what the deal is tell me in the comments below what your most recent experience was how long ago it was i mean if you got your missions tested well i guess it's every year or so maybe two years the first time it's the in three years i don't know i think the first time a brand new vehicle is three years and then it's every year after that i'm not really sure but um tell me what your most recent experience was like and and how long it took you. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't, hopefully that wasn't anticlimactic for you and uh, you enjoyed watching this video. I appreciate it. You stay awesome. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye.